All right, we're all set. Sorry to just leave you on like the starting screen. I don't have anything like fancy, like a preview or something to show you. I, I'd like to have something a little fancy to put up, but I don't really know what what it would be. I know for Vine Sauce, they're a big streamer thinger. Um, a lot of people like submit art and stuff to like be put on screen for like BRBs and stuff. If anyone wants to make something like that, feel free. Oh, Moo! You know it's stream time, don't you, buddy? Yes, yes. 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 Yes, you do. <laughs> he was yelling at me earlier. He thought he was. I was starting the stream. He was a little bit early. Oh frick. Um. Hmm. No, I'll, I'll deal with it. So my monitor, freaking Windows 10. Love Windows 10. But I hate its update process. Controversial opinion, right? Um, what are you doing? Get down. Get dust on your whisker. Give me that. Um, <laughs> Windows 10 treats every major update as if you were reinstalling the OS, basically. Um, and that basically deletes all of your video, special video settings. Like, it forgets that my monitor is full color instead of thinks it's limited color. Um... It deletes all of my sound settings, which, because I do streaming and stuff, are fairly complicated, so I have to redo all of that. Yostar. Uh, Yostar is the developer of the game. That's why it has the little chicken logo. Or something. Yeah, Baidu, I think. In fact, I think they have... They actually have... In, in China, they where the game was developed, they have... Um, Parker. Um, they're partnered with some Chinese social media thing. And this actually ships based on the Chinese social media thing. I forget what it's called. It's it's on the wiki somewhere. I don't want to find it right now. Um, unfortunately, I already did my polls for today. And uh, I actually got the last unit for this event thinger. So I'm all good. I have all of the Frenchies. We just got uh, Dunky over here. Skika. Hi, Barker. Oh, she's a cruiser. Battle cruiser, huh? Not quite the voice I was expecting from her. It's funny how, except for Mars, you can obviously tell who are the bad French guys and who are the good ones. I mean, Jean Bart's named after a goddamn pirate. What's the deal with that, by the way? Who, who, who in the military names their ship after a goddamn pirate? Kind of weird. Yeah, Lamar's is the only evil one that doesn't look as evil. She has different colors, though, from the good one, I guess. She's freaking Shadow. She's literally, guys. They're literally Sonic and Shadow. Look at that. Yeah, Mars and Forbin, the same class of ship, because they look mostly the same. They think it's scammy. Oh, scary. For pirates, I guess, but... Pirates weren't really very relevant by the time of World War II. Anyway. Um, I've got like half of the event crap all done, like the exchange thinger. I got Le Triomphant over here. As I believe her name is pronounced. Um, I already have Lamar's from the drop, fortunately, but I'll probably get a dupe just to save on a Bulin. Bullen? Bulin? However you say that. Bueller? Bueller? So I've been grinding with just some cheap ships. Actually, this is overkill. This is what I had for the... Oh well, that's fine. This is what I was using to grind the very last level with. Ning and Peng seem pretty alright. I'm just still salty over not having the third part of their whole set. <laughs> it's okay, Parker. <laughs> He's sniffing it very suspectly. It's just Sprite, buddy. Inspecting the cat carefully. 
He's gonna kill the cap. He's like, no. You do not hiss at me. I destroy you. By the way, I've heard that cats never hiss when playing. Parker does. He hisses at things. Hi, Parker, yes. Now he's sitting back down. Hmm. One nice thing about streaming back on Twitch is that Uberbot actually works for Twitch live streams. So many things have not worked. Um, like, there's no way to get YouTube live streams. You can hear me over the anime, by the way, right? Some of these animes are very loud. But I'm gonna turn this down a little bit on my end. I think it's already kinda low on your end. I'm looking at the little peak meter, it looks kinda alright. Maybe a little down. Maybe like that. Maybe it's a bit loud. Oh yeah, the, the music in this place is really loud. In fact, let me... Let me turn down the music a little bit. Didn't we already turn? Yeah, we kind of did, but whatever, just a little bit. As much as I like Massachusetts, I have not been able to actually use her yet. Because I'm trying to... I gotta get experience for Japanese battleships, which she obviously is not, so... I'll have her up later. Give me the coins. Hi, Parker. Yes, yes. Yes, you love me, I know. Yes. He's been needy today. He's so happy that I'm taking a week off work. He's like, the human is here all day. The human is here all day. I'm gonna sit on him. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna scream and I'm gonna get into the forbidden doors. One of the forbidden doors was walled up, by the way, because we're taking off the weird mudroom side porch finger. Not even really a porch, it's indoors. I don't know what you call it, but it was stupid and there was no real reason to have it, especially now that I have a little breezeway between the new um, Pussy Watson um, garage. Yeah, it was just a shitty little room. It was just kind of a shitty little room, and I never did anything with it, and I barely ever used the door to go out that way. And it gets leaks in it, and the the contractors are doing a bunch of major stuff now, so we just decided to take it off. So, but Parker, Parker, for the first like day, he would like sit at where the door was and glare at it and look back at me with his neck turned, like. 170 degrees and be like, why? Why you do, human? You knew I wanted to be in the forbidden door. There was nothing fun in there anyway, Parker. There was leaves that he would try to eat sometimes, but that was about it. He loves leaves. Even dry, like, gross leaves from fall. I don't know why he tries to eat them. Yes. Delicious mana straight from heaven. Yes. Tickling me with his tail, like right on my arm. It's like, yes, human. Perhaps, perhaps your arm could be doing something different right now. Perhaps you could be petting me. Yes. Fine, I'll pet. I will pet. Yes. Yes. All right. So this event was pretty all right. The the EX battle is back to being impossible, unfortunately. At least it doesn't cost any oil. Well, the Yamashiro starts every single battle with this fire. It's good shit. Real professional shit. Those out before they become big clumps. There you go. 
He looked so offended when I pulled clumps out of his fur. He's like, human, that is mine. Put that back where you found it. That I made that. I made that grow out of my body. You put it right back. You put it back right now, buddy. <laughs> He's best. He's leaving. <laughs> Ning's inspirational quote here is... <laughs> Everyone must be better than me. Poppy does the same thing when I steal her friend. <laughs> Parker has a really weird relationship with being brushed. Uh, I think I can go a little bit cheaper. Uh, actually, wait, how cheap is this one? 26. Eh, that's fine. I just wish there were cheaper Japanese battleships. Battleships are so expensive. Which, I mean, makes sense, but, like, still. I just don't like the, the anxiety that the stamina system adds in. Because, like, it's not just, like, you need X, like, 10 stamina to do a match. Um, using better units costs more, so, like, you want to be like, oh, I want to use the least good units I can, basically, to fight this, and it's silly. It only really matters if you play a huge amount, and I've got 6,000 oil, so I could probably play, like, all day right now, but... It's just enough of a pain in the butt to bug me. I don't like when games have mechanics like that. <laughs> Steam you had, don't have to confirm anything under one dollar. Oh, that's nice. So no more confirming 20 different trading cards every minute. It's gonna eat things. Also took me too long to notice Ning and Peng have opposite sided. Uh, it's easier. The, the, their leggings are different length. It, it makes more sense when you see them both at once. Which, I don't have them both at once because they're expensive. I've been leveling up Vampire here. I like Vampire. Only thing I have over a dollar is a foil card from Sonic Mania. Yeah, I got- I sold, um... Um, I got 15 bucks for an Unreal Tournament. 2003 foil, I think it was. I've never sold anything remotely that expensive since. I think you have to use the Steam confirm me thingy if you sell stuff. Yeah, I'll never get a full set of foils, so even if I care about a game and want to get badges, which <laughs> almost never happens either, um, I, I don't usually bother with trying to keep foils. I've never gotten a foil for a game I actually cared about either. I mean, I like Unreal Tournament, but 2K3 is not not my particular one. I've barely played that one, though. I should try, I should play it more. The, um... The new Unreal Tournament's pretty good, though. I played a little bit. It's still an alpha and everything, and due to Blorpedite, I'm not sure if they'll ever finish it at this rate, but it's really good. They have a really good version of um, Facing Worlds. One of the best maps, multiplayer maps of all time. Just good shit. I hate how terrible the AI is at using vampire skill, it bothers me, but not enough to make me actually play manually. I only do that for, like, really hard stages. I will admit, I'm a sucker for games that let you do auto battle and stuff. It's like almost an iterative game, because then I can like, well, I can do what I'm doing right now, I can like, poke the game a little bit, then look over and chat, have a chat. You know, have a browser open, watch some stuff. I really like that vibe of, uh... Why does the music stutter only in Nox? It doesn't stutter on my phone, I don't think. I don't usually play with music on my phone, so maybe I'm wrong, but... What is it that triggers the boss dialogue, by the way? Because it's not actually fighting bosses. The little Ocha laugh thing is only supposed to be for bosses, but... Too 
suck for badges, I think, you know, the first level. And some games, like, the first badge level are, like, they're not designed so that, like, the best badge, like, looks the best. Which you're supposed to do, by the way. The Steam, um, Hoozy wants it. Um, what are they called? Like, the Steam policy on it is that the badges are supposed to be incrementally better. But, like, for example, the Neptunia ones, um, at least for Neptunia Rebirth 1, um, they made it sort through the different goddesses. So, like, the first one is Neptune, the second one is Noir, and so on. So, you have to stop at a level... You have to stop at a lower level if you want to keep, like, a certain badge thing. Which, really, it should just let you pick which level of badge you want to show off. I'm not sure if it lets you do that. I don't... It didn't last time I tried, but I haven't... I don't really care about the Steam badge crap. I went on a thing. There's a certain point where you get more card drops or something. Or more booster pack drops. So I... I think it's every 10 levels or something. Or every 50 or something. Um, so I picked a bunch of games I would liked. And uh, I bought badges until I got to that level. It has not made a particularly noticeable difference. It's all just dumb crap. It's just fake internet points, really. There's coffee. I did that thing where I didn't drink my coffee because it was really hot. And then by the time I remember to drink my coffee, it's half cold. Gotta love that. Possibly the most annoying thing to drink. Cotton booster packs, they're not usually great. Yeah, I get booster packs like every couple weeks at this point. But, uh, they're never for games I care about, so... Like, they're just completely for random games that you own. <clears throat> and I own so many games, I usually get, you know, cards for, like, Johnny's Puzzle Adventures or something stupid that I have because of, like, a bundle or because I got a, you know, review key or something. Yeah, people... It kind of depends. But people will often do... People will often pay a little bit more for booster packs because there is a chance of getting a foil from getting a booster pack. Once you've opened it and not gotten any foils, that, um... There's no longer a chance for that, obviously. But it's... The chance for foil is really low, so it's, in my opinion, really not worth it to open the booster packs. I wish the game had a greater speed option. It's one of the few things missing from it. Who are these two girls here in the front, by the way? I'm guessing maybe that's Huzi Watts it. That's a Tago sister, that's Takao. Some of the characters are very hard to identify without their outfits. But how many hours have you played depending? I, I hate survey questions on that, because it's like, I have no concept of that. Like, maybe if I only played at most one hour a day, I would be able to math that out, but like... I just have no idea. What are you taking a survey for, anyway? 720... Yeah, I'm... I've, I've, been, I've played about 720p worth of video games in the last, uh, 30 minutes. stuttering is bugging me. I don't think it does that on my phone. I just haven't been too much of an RPG mood lately. I haven't been able to get... Um, Super Neptunia RPG is supposed to be pretty alright, like the story and everything. It's a little bit short, I've heard. And there's only one ending and stuff. There are like four missable things. So I'll try to get that listed in my guide pretty soon. I just haven't been in RPG mood, so... I was kind of letting it sit at the moment. I don't know what I'm in the mood for, though. I'm kind of trying to go back and finish up some stuff that I missed. Take service for gifts, friends, and buy things that going through my parents. Uh, Did you know 
Sometimes OBS is pretty nice. Right, I'm just trying it again here. It lets you view chat right in the thinger. Except I have chat over here on a different screen anyway. So I don't need that as much. But it's still cool. I like Kaga's voice a lot. I just kind of... I just kind of ignored her because her sister is trash and or a trash baby. But um, Kaga seems alright. I would... Um, what SNES controller did you get? You're talking about a PC one, right? Like, I got a iBuffalo one. It's pretty alright. Even though it did curse me with unwanted turbo yesterday. It took me way too long to figure out. Emeo. Huh, I haven't heard of him. That's how you play. That's how you play claw games. You just press your entire body up against the glass. That reminds me, that's an actual gameplay mechanic, not pressing it against the glass. But there's a crane game thing in um, Yakuza, which is suspiciously non-scammy. It's, it's basically an advertisement for Sega's thingies, but... It's not scam- it does not scam you, and that's like so unrealistic. To be a real claw game, it has to release automatically, like, for no reason, about 50% of the time. Oh, right. Get spoiled by clearing mode. boss never spawns in sub range. Not that I need it right now, but I find it kind of funny. She's playing with the Switch. I guess just because it's portable, but then when we get a console, um, when we get a console, who's boss it's on PS4, which is the most obvious choice, really. Switch would be all right, though. Maybe we'll come to Switch later. With the neat little cheat book. Huh. I just get all my cheats online. Did anyone use GameWinners.com as a kid? I don't even know if that website is still alive, so like... I'm not sure if you should go to it, but... It had cheats and stuff. So, and I could never remember the cheat codes for Grand Theft Auto, and we didn't want to buy a book just for cheats. So I would use that. It wasn't really... It wasn't quite game facts, but sometimes it would have sort of information. And I think GameFAQs was a thing, and I just did not know about it until, um, I think Final Fantasy X, maybe, was my first game that I used GameFAQs for. I still got, the PS2 era, I still got some guides. I think my last big guide was, with Xenosaga 3, I think, I barely used the guide. I found it was easier to just use the GameFAQs guide, so I didn't really get too many guides after that. I did get the Mass Effect 3 guide though, because it helped me win a TV. You gotta love the battleship's aim <laughs> for the torpedoes. It works a lot better if there's lots of ships or if the ships don't move. I keep getting Queen Elizabeth from this event, and it's so annoying because I had to use like all Bulins for her. I had to grind a lot just to get one drop, and now, now I get her all the time and she... I can't use her. Game Winners is still up? Cool. Is there, is there HTML still like from 1998? I hope so. It was kind of hilarious how bad some of their <laughs> game quote unquote cheats. They would have cheats that are like, fight this one enemy for good experience, and it's like not even a good enemy to fight. Or like completely obvious stuff. Like press the L button to change characters. Oh, it ceased operation 2017. Oh no! 
Is it just still up, like, to view, but not edit, I guess? I have a reddit. Huh. That's a shame. Hopefully they at least keep the old stuff up. Even if they're not, like, accepting submissions and crap. No, b being a ship person. It seems like having long hair would not be advantageous. That shit would get wet, and like, that would be a problem. Especially being like a fox dog person here, like Kaga. Imagine the sheer wet dog smell of six fluffy tails constantly, like, one inch above the water. Oh, frig. I don't, I don't like the storage mechanic. <laughs> Massachusetts is so nice. I don't know why people be bullying me when I'm like going out to war though, but still the thought is appreciated. Did those rude Nazis bully you again? You just gotta punch them right in the cock. Alternatively, former administrator Apollo has opened up his own website to be one. Huh. Weird. A lot of those old sites end up disappearing. At least if it's a mostly or entirely text site, uh, it'll be preserved super well on um, Huja Mahaja Web Archive. Web Archive seems to suck with images though. At least for my site, it just hotlinks the images. Um, it doesn't store them local. So if my site genuinely went down, you wouldn't get all the images, you would just get the text. Which is mostly the content, but sometimes my guides have images. I don't- I kind of underdo the images because I don't really like making them. One thing I'm not sure about that Streamlabs does different is it doesn't have- there's a little quality light on regular OBS, and if that light flashes red or yellow, that means I'm kind of getting some bad, dropping some frames, or something bad's going on. And I kind of paranoidly watch it. And this way, I don't get anxiety by watching the little light, but I'm also not sure if I'll, like, miss some frame drops and stuff. Usually if it's particularly bad, I'll either get a notification from Streamlabs, or obviously people will flip out in the chat. Oh, are you taking a Google Stadia thing? <laughs> I'm so not interested in Google Stadia, it's like, not, nah, nah. Whatever happened to Google Fiber? Give me Google Fiber and then I'll consider Google Stadia. I would genuinely, if, if I had to buy Google Stadia to get Google Fiber and like the two were just a guaranteed match, I would buy it in a goddamn second. Or basically I would just pay double if I could just get Google Fiber. I'd pay a hundred bucks a month, no question. Shit, I consider like 200 bucks a month considering like the frustration of Mediacom. And they already cost like 70 or 80 bucks in my current tier, so. I'd pay double that for actually good internet, no problem. But thanks to our lovely FCC and like extreme empty competition laws. America's whole internet infrastructure sucks ass and there's not there's not a whole lot Google can do that directly. They, they've had to fight laws and stuff in some places and it's just fucking stupid. It's one of our saddest examples of regulatory capture is just well, who made the internet? The United States. Who has the worst internet of first world countries? The United States. Y yay. Hooray. Of course, we have an FCC ass clown that's not interested in any kind of municipal <laughs> Wi-Fi or anything, or internet. <laughs> Speaking of blood, blood stains out. Is that that's supposed to be pretty good, right? 
I backed away on the Kickstarter because, like, I got Mighty Number no. Nine. That game, I tried playing that too. I, I was, I was just, I was so burnt out on the whole like stuff. When it came out, I didn't even play it. Uh, I tried it a couple months ago, and it's, it's everything I didn't like about classic Mega Man, and it's none of the things that I do like from any Mega Man beyond classic Mega Man. And the dash mechanic is really fiddly. I can see really liking it as like a speedrunner, but like. Gunvolt and Mighty Gunvolt are just way better. Pro tip, you can move you can move your characters around in the middle of a thing. Um, whoever's in the front and the back take the most damage here. Doesn't matter as much with only two people, but you may as well try it. It's an entire room that's just a big fuck you to Konami. That's great. Somebody get Ning some goddamn food. Every every one of her lines is about food. Girl needs to eat. Yeah, I don't know when. I mean, shit, maybe tonight if I want to. But um, we'll probably do Mario 64. I'll try. Let me look up this Mario 64 randomizer. Yeah, you gotta love auto battle. I can just Google shit while while I'm allegedly playing a video game. It's great. Mario 64 randomizer. Download the randomizer. Oh. What the? <laughs> Why is there download link? A YouTube video, and it's media fire. Great. Let me just download this virus, I mean, randomizer. It's Mario 64 randomizer. It's small. Six megabytes, huh? What? What? Wait, it's an N64 file? Oh wait, how does that work? I thought it would take your ROM and then... Well, there's a readme. I'll read the readme. Not now, though. I don't... I can browse the web while streaming, but asking me to read, that's a bit much. My 64 rando is different. Huh. Yeah, Meteor Fire- I'm mostly joking. Meteor Fire is the least bad of the bad file locker sites. It's like a tier down from... It's a tier down from, um, you know, Dropbox and stuff, but, um, they still get those ads that just are fake download buttons, but they don't get as many of them as the other ones. All the seeds are baked into the ROM, you just select a seed. Really? That's kind of cool, actually. I figured I'd have to set it up. Are there parameters? Does that mean there's no parameters I get to dick around with, or...? Well... I'll take a peek at it after this stream. And if it looks easy enough to use, maybe we'll stream it... ...tonight after 5 or something, I don't know. All it does is change entrances and stars. Ah. Hmm, how does it change stars, though? I think I might have not needed to fight that. Oh well. I think you just pick a random number. Oh, alright. I see y'all lurkers. I want every lurker here to tell me their favorite ship girl. Right now. Or it's off to bed with no dinner with you. I'm sure it was so loud. So this is kind of more like the original version of the SMW randomizer. I guess that's fine. 
I might just play regular Mario 64 with the, um... Well, I don't know. I'm better at Mario 64 than I am at Super Mario World. It's not really... There's no equivalent in Super Mario 64 to, like, the, uh, the special stages in Super Mario World. It's kind of funny, the parabola of difficulty that, uh, or I guess inverse palaver of difficulty that, uh, Super Mario has gone through. So the Super Mario 1, and then they went to Super Mario 2, like the Japanese one that was, like, insanely hard and really not very fun, in my opinion. Um, and then Mario 3 kind of brings it down. Super Mario World, um, has, like, the special stages, but the main game is pretty easy. Um, Yoshi's Island has crazy hard, um, optional stages, but fairly easy for the most part in the normal stuff. Um, then at 64, like, in the Nintendo 64 to Wii eras, they didn't really have anything super hard until, wait, was it Galaxy 1 or 2 that had perfect run? I want to say 2, but I don't know, I never finished them. Um, but ever since that, too, are it was too. Ever since that, they've always included one insanely difficult level at the very end that's usually kind of hard to get to. And I don't usually play them. Um, the one, the one in, um... I didn't even try the one in Odyssey. I, I, I attempted it, like, twice, and I was like, nah. Um, I did try for the one in 3D World, and it was just like, nah. I'm, I'm not enjoying this. The individual segments were alright, but I hate that thing where it's like a giant super hard level and you have to redo the entire thing if you die. Because like, I've already done the same part 30 times, why? <laughs> I'm not having fun by redoing it. Oh well. And in Odyssey, they probably fixed it by now, but you used to just be able to do a really good moon jump with like a frog or something, and you could just skip the entire thing. I think the dumbest thing about Stadia is that, like, you still have to buy the games. So, you're using a huge amount of bandwidth. You are getting the stream latency in the thing. You don't truly own the games. You still gotta buy them. It's all of the badness of renting, but you still gotta... If anything, the one... The only negative of buying and owning, like, regular PC games and stuff is so that you gotta buy it, right? And study includes that, so. It's silly. But, oh well. It's just a Google thing, so it's not like, you know, one of the big three console makers going digital or stream only or anything. Which so many people were worried about um, PlayStation doing, and obviously they didn't. Oh, this again. That message will haunt me in my nightmares. Uh, let's give Dunkirk some stuff, I guess. Sure. I don't really care. Uh, max out your torpedoes if I can. didn't have a chance of not being like that because destroyer and stuff. This has got the laugh. Nintendogs goes here. 
<laughs> what was- what is the context of that? I just saw that in the, um, Discord. Sometimes the subs get stuck in that ret to go position. Speaking of ret to go, they're making a. They're gonna make a Shantae anime with Trigger? I had no idea I needed that, but I do. That sounds amazing. That should be really cool. Speaking of, apparently the new FLCL came out. When did that happen? I guess I missed it. Is it... What is the least... Is it on DVD yet? Probably not. Blu-ray or whatever. About a year ago. I did not hear about it coming out. I thought it was like announced like a year or so ago. Hey, Kasami. Somebody give, somebody give Ning a goddamn sandwich. It was on Toonami, but gotta have cable. Oh. So it didn't come out in a way that I could have, like, actually watched. So that's, I guess, why I didn't hear so much about it. Once it's on DVD, I'll get it. And apparently it does, like... FLCL progressive and then alternative? Very subtle rock references. <laughs> FLCL has always been very subtle. Using guitars for what? The season two and three? Are they like full things or is it like an OVA for each? Or... Now, was it supposed to be good? I, I obviously hope so. I love the first series. I've seen I've seen the first season of FLC like four or five times. I even downloaded it in like shitty resolution to my PSP. Oh no, I forgot the dorm! Crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this even supposed to be? Is that like a pie or like a pizza? There's a big old sardine head on there, as, as most people put on pizza. Pineapple on pizza is for babies. I only eat giant salmon head on my pizzas. Each season is six episodes long, really? I was expecting that to take forever. I was expecting that to be, like, vaporware, honestly. Uh, I can leave y'all in there. Uh, let me get Ning and Ping. Or Yamashiro. Whoever. I think Yamashiro is like just barely objectively better than Fausau because she has a little bit more HP. At least for grinding purposes. She's a pretty good ship for grinding this. Uh, what level are you? Uh, B3 shouldn't be too crazy hard. You're not missing too much on the hard stages. You do miss the one decoration, but to be perfectly honest, I've never put down any of the hard mode decorations. The only one I wanted was the Neptunia one, and that was like, crush your balls hard. Like, they should never have made that an EX difficulty thing. That was just frankly really rude of them. I tried that stage, I had characters up to level 100, which was the level cap at the time. Which was the style at the time. Um, and the second Green Heart launched an airstrike, my whole team just went. I was doing expert dodging and everything, but I genuinely could not survive that airstrike. And it wasn't even a thing you could necessarily really dodge. It was... It was nuts. It was... That's one of the whale-only things. This game's usually pretty nice about, like, the whale-only stuff is basically cosmetic and you just get to, you know, 
compared dick sizes on the leaderboards, but in that case, it had a trophy. And it was Neptunia one, so I was pretty taken about that. You know what's not controversial? Chicken on pizza. There's a barbecue chicken pizza that isn't too bad. I get the barbecue beef tastes better, though. I'm not a big fan of chicken on pizza. I don't think it's the worst thing ever, though. I usually just go for pepperoni and or uh, barbecue beef stuff is pretty good. We got... Oh, yeah, we were moving servers. We got, um, my boss is a big fan of spicy stuff, um, so we got one super spicy pizza, and we got one regular, like, meat lovers thing. And everyone, we were all really surprised how the, the spicy pizza was extremely spicy. It was weird because it didn't, it must have been the sauce, because it had some, like, pickled jalapenos in there. And those aren't nearly as spicy as whatever was in the sauce. It was really spicy. We were all sweating and stuff. B3 is not too hard last time to do it wasn't able to pump through that chips being destroyed to the fight. It's actually pretty hard to get people's moods low. It's I the only time I've seen someone go down slightly in mood, um, I was grinding with a really low level Phoenix. And <laughs> she had she had been knocked out, like, ten times in one day. And you can just put them in the... Their mood goes back up if you put them in the door, so it's not a huge deal. What level are your units, though? She's so soft-spoken. I want to use Massachusetts, but like I said, I gotta level up these. It's gonna take forever. I don't like... I don't like how the shipyard things work. It's really nice that... So with the, with the current set of priority ships, you have to level up... You have to get experience for specific ships. Um, Sakura Empire battleships. Or cruisers and aviation battleships. It's so weird that battle monitors count, but it's not a huge deal. Um, in the second season of ships, they only have to be from the same nation. They don't have to be a specific kind of ship, so you have a lot more variety that you can choose from. And that will be a lot less painful. I really don't want to have to get 3 million experience again, though. That is, that is a lot. That's pretty much what it sounds like. I think it's taken me about... At least 3 weeks per priority ship, maybe a month. I get all the times threes. Yeah, the first one's not really worth it. Uh, can we buy anything fun? I already got the guns. Hmm. Oh yeah, especially as a newbie, that's gonna be a huge pain in the butt. The, um... The cruiser ones, the American, or yeah, the American and British cruisers wouldn't be too hard to do. Hmm. What should I do, chat? Should I grind D3 through this event, or should I try some hard mode crap? I'm almost done with 212, or 12 2, whatever. Not sure my duders are set up for that, though. Oh, yeah, my duders are all messed up. Priority ships are definitely late game content. They take, they take crazy amounts of stuff. They they they're gonna take a crazy long time. I may as well clear this one. I didn't realize I only had one more clear to do. Wait, what are you doing here? You can't get experience. Uh, let's put base in there. It's neat to finally have two full sets of submarines, but there's not actually very much point in the second fleet. I just kind of never use them. Is 
It's fun to grind on lower levels, though. The the event maps are good ones to grind for levels and such. Why does it have, like, little telescope legs? Anyway. Um... Frick. I, I forgot who I was using for this map. Um... Definitely Amagi was in the mix. Probably Saratoga. Alright. So this will be... This is my grind fleet. So, Portland is good. Portland. Uh, who's got good AA? Phoenix. Portland, Phoenix, Belfast. Wait, do you have good AA? Oop. No, shut up. Go away. Um, no, AA. Oh yeah, Belfast has good AA. So a secret to chapter 12 is all about airstrikes and shit. Um, the secret to doing well in it is that having... Maybe I should bring Portland. Um, the secret is that AA reduces the damage you take from planes. So like every 100 AA you have is... It works as if you had 100% more HP. Oops, I took all of her gear. So having a couple hundred... Having a couple hundred AA helps out a lot. I didn't realize I swiped all of Linger's gear. Uh, oh yeah, Aya. I can use Aya. Aya should have full gear. It's not quite as defensive, but she'll work. I'll put her in the middle. There's Aya. Hey, Demon. I do have your gear on, right? Oh. I don't. Uh, swipe that back from Vampire. See, this is why I don't do hard mode stuff too much. When I, when I do do it, I have to do it, like, all at once. Because... Oxygen torpedo. You need better AA too. AA doesn't matter as much if you're only fighting the boss in this one, but I also like this. Yeah, I, <laughs> swapping gear is probably my least favorite part um, of this game, so. Aw, oh, no! Oh, I hate that you can't swipe gear from people on special ops. Uh, give her gyroscope, I guess. Eldris is a little slow. She's a... Um, she's actually a destroyer escort. So she's a lot bigger. <laughs> Ironically... <laughs> Despite actually being smaller than most destroyers in game, but that's anime for you. She's playing Choo Choo Rocket over there. Pretty sure that's what she just said. Alright, that should be good for the boss killing fleet. Um, good god, you have 300 AA naturally. Should probably still use you radar though. I kind of want everyone to have a minimum over 200 AA for this. Um, over 300 helps a lot. For stage 12. Uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and be paranoid just because. Because the next stage is going to be even harder. So I'm just going to give everybody on the. On the grind fleet something. 
a lot of anti air radar sounds. This Belfast, Belfast has pretty good torpedoes, right? She's got 300 base. Anti air is over 300. You can have Liam just because I'm not using her. I always remember to save your gear sets, by the way. That would save me a lot of effort in some of this stuff, but I usually forget to. I try to just go through everybody and save them, but I guess I forgot for Leander. Uh, we're not going to bring Isokaze. I like Isokaze's design. She just looks so happy at all times. Um... You're all good. Uh, what's your AA stat? Okay, you're over 300. Yeah, everyone's over 300. <laughs> Hood has 400. She'll be fine. Uh, Akashi could definitely do with more. She's the repair ships. She's supposed to be kind of weak in that regard. Um, or in <laughs> every regard. Um, oh, I can't steal it from you. Why did I give you things? Oh, god damn it. Wait, maybe they're back from commissions. Let me check. No, I don't think they are. Heck. Okay, who has my gear? It's Mars and Forvin, not you. There's Forbin. Oh, but that's for cubes. Oh, it's only like 13 minutes. That's fine. Uh, don't send out Forbin. I kind of wish we could like prioritize people that don't have gear or something. Or just let me take their gear. Like, come on. Uh... I should be fine with just Forbin stuff. Obviously, switching gear around is the most exciting part of the game. Look at that nerd. Uh, so... Steal that from St. Louis. And you can steal... How does having multiple A guns in one unit even work, by the way? Because, like, the stats for them apparently are averaged out, basically. Yeah, you're just barely gonna have, like, over 200, so I'll wanna have some anti air. You can have this one, I'll level it up. I should really have more of these leveled up. Alright, that'll do. Um. I guess. I want somebody to have the SG Raider. SG Raider is super important. It decreases the ambush chance and increases your ability to evade them. Um, <laughs> and just one, or even worse, two ambushes can really screw you up on later maps, because that eats up one ammo. And... <laughs> like, if you fight, um, if you fight a f hard difficulty main fleet, like a three... Like, a large size one, without ammo, you're gonna lose, basically. <laughs> They're ridiculous. Got some beating B3. Um... Okay, good, we got all... Aircraft carriers. Uh, no, you're the grind fleet. 
so. Oh yeah, an important thing, switch to circular defense for chapter 12, because that increases your AA by 50%, or 45%, close enough. Um, so that means effectively my characters, they all have at least 300 AA. So now they all have like at least 450 AA, which means four times as much HP versus aircraft, basically. If my characters had under 100 AI, they, or AA, they would probably lose in like one aerial volley. It hurts a lot. It's kind of funny because Japan had lost almost all of its carriers at this point, but I guess they're like base. They're launching from bases, I guess. You gotta keep the lore accurate. The real life lore. Oh yeah, the Bismarck skill item that increases main fleet stuff when they're out of ammo is kind of neat. I always leave that on U556 though. Because I always use her for the main sub. She has like the best sub range. I really recommend her regardless of stats even. And her stats are pretty alright. Her best thing is definitely the range. But uh... I put a couple of good torpedoes on her and she always does the most damage of the submarine fleet by like three times. See, not too bad at all. Portland took more damage than I would like, but I've got some emergency repairs and stuff. That's basically a free win, may as well go for that. Oh, I should probably turn off. Enough ships aren't gonna spawn in it. Let me put Belfast first, she's the most defensive one. Oh, and pro tip, always have a battleship or a battle cruiser in your um, flagship slot. At least if you're taking lots of damage. Um, they have way better defenses. And in a lot of these hard stages, at least, you can lose just because you accidentally put a carrier in the flagship spot. Mostly against battleships. Battleships shoot directly at your flagship. Most other f battles, they'll be more evenly distributed through them. But battleships in particu particular, they're designed to fight other battleships. The Kagi's pretty good for proto Bulans, and she's a pain in the ass to get more copies of. Look who you want to use, ultimately, though. Most of the top or near top tier units are like in the regular pool, like Enterprise and Belgian stuff. You can get copies of them normally. They still don't have Kaga. The Kagi's a lot better with Kaga. But over time, you get one Proto Bulin a week, and you get usually one every event or two and stuff like that. So it's not like a life or death choice. As you can see, the, my only main fleet that's taking damage is Hood, so that's why she's there. Bunch of shorties. Are there any other gold light cruiser guns, by the way? I've only found the one. It's supposed to be apparently extremely good, but it just feels a little boring. Yeah, after a while, you'll start wondering who who to use Bulins on, not because you don't you want to be super picky, but because you have like a couple rows of them. I could use all my Proto Bulins right now, but I kind of want to save them in case the unit I really love comes up or something like that. I usually prioritize event ships because those aren't coming back for a long time. Usually. But yeah, any. I would say do not ever use a Proto Bulin on any unit that's in the regular summon pool, like Hood, Enterprise, so forth. Um, Mont Supplier. You'll be getting plenty of those over time. 
You won't get them immediately, but you'll eventually get so many that you'll have to, you know, retire them just for medals. And it feels really bad to get a duplicate of somebody that you used a Bulin for. That, <laughs> that sucks. So I usually prioritize not ending up having to do that. Massachusetts is probably a good choice. Monty and San Diego come. You'll get those way too often for the light construction. I wouldn't even consider them. Um, Triumphant! I'm not sure how good she is. She is gold and everything. But, um... You can grind drops for her. You probably won't get very many. But if you grind B3 or D3 in this event, it's a possibility to get her. But then again, so was uh, Z46, and I never got her. Why didn't you shudder about hearing about whaling before the new gym position? By the way, it was really weird. Um, one thing, reading, well, listening in my case, to um, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is the general disregard for, like, marine and animal life in general everyone's like "Ooh, a fish let's kill it and even even in even when the author would be like oh hey these fish these fish are going to be extinct in like 10 years if humanity keeps uh killing them and then we ate it <laughs> it's like christ man Me. human attitudes were pretty different you know over a hundred years ago obviously but uh Kind of stunning, especially for a book so enamored with like the beauty of the sea and they're still <laughs> they're still fairly you know casual about whaling and stuff i'll see every synergy with my current fleets there's a lot of really good american ships um eldridge enterprise are <laughs> Two of the best ships, especially for PvP, but honestly just in general. Um, Eldridge's skill is amazing. Portland Retrofit is one of the best units in the game. So is Phoenix. Phoenix and Portland are two of the best grinding units in the game. They just do huge amounts of damage. Um, and they can solo a lot of levels. Who else is good in American? Um... Portland's good for the beginning. Oh yeah, Saratoga. I always forget. <laughs> I always forget that she's U.S., not British. But yeah, Saratoga is a really good um, unit. Do I have her in my fleet? Yeah, I do. Um, oh yeah, Eldridge takes a while to get. Um, South Dakota is pretty good. I think she's best with Washington though, and Washington's in an event. That hopefully comes back soon, because I missed all of the events in that ship. It was on for like one day when I started. And I got like a plane from the... It was like one of those box draw things. I got like one plane. I don't think I pulled on the limited thing at all, because I was saving up for the Neptunia thing. Which was good because that was that was the, the Neptune event is the only reason I started playing the game and I got all of the units so pretty happy with that. Ah, how sick and twisted whaling really is. Yeah, that's been kind of known for a while. It's kind of shocking to see how much a lot of people still defend all of that stuff. I only have important yeah. candy for Sissy. Look, habit and hobby. Huh. Yeah, I didn't watch the new gym position thing. I like gym and stuff, but... I usually... I'm usually already on the same page with him. He does a good character and everything. It just kind of ends up being depressing confirmation of what I already know. Uh, heck. I'll fight this one because I'll have submarine support. I really should have fought one of these with, with ammo. But with full HP... Let me put you first. Uh, you should have Phoenix, though. Phoenix is really good. 
And she's really cheap for oil. Oh yeah, Cassin and Downus are extremely good. Um, almost all of the best ships for grinding low oil-wise are um, US ships. Cassin and Downus don't seem like they would be that great. They're just common destroyers, but they have a retrofit. And they have a skill that restores 20% of the HP once they go under 20%. So if you take less than 20% damage every fleet or every match, they're invincible. So for grinding low level content, they're pretty much unbeatable. Plus they're cute, it's always nice. Oh, it's got testimonials and stuff. That's good. I really, I keep really hoping we get some laws against, you know, loot box stuff. It's kind of screwed up that China has better laws on exploitative loot box stuff than we do. China has better laws than you. That's that's some fucked up stuff. Alright, oh, I was supposed to use the subs. Um, where's my mouse? There it is. I love that Dace just fucking screams. She screams. Triumphal is three oil and three stars. Yeah, um, destroyers start with the lowest oil cost. She'll be 10 oil at max, I believe. It's all based on what class of ship they are and how many stars they have. Or what class of ship, how many stars, and what tier they are. But like, common DDs cost one oil. And Kassan and Downus are really good for one oil. All right, just restart it, and now we're gonna clear it. But just to add to the suspense, be back in one second here. back so the thing with the oil is that when you when you star up people they um they start costing more oil and for some units they like double in oil usage at the first star but it's why sometimes when grinding you might want to use a lower lo or you know a new unit or something i was grinding at first with the uh, the new french units but they're a little bit too low level to reliably grind, especially in the hard mode stuff. Oops. No, not not auto, not auto. Oh, I can use the sub on the boss. That almost never happens. Also, probably should have made Eldritch in front, but whatever. I feel like Saratoga's voice you're gonna hear. Look at all these goddamn planes. I'm so tired of these goddamn planes on these goddamn snakes. Wait, did my torpedoes not fire? Oh, oh, that's not the torpedo button at all. Okay. I don't usually play this on PC. I forget my own. Uh oh. No. Shoot. Shoot. Do the plane! Oh shit, the plane button! Oh god, guys. No, where's the mouse? Oh god. 
Fuck. The blame button isn't set up right. I can't hit the plane button from the mouse, it's just slightly too far off. Also, I don't have a button set up. This match, this, this match sucks, by the way. <sighs> okay, let me set up my controls again. Where is it? Shit. Uh, let me... Let me fight. Let me fight a daily and I'll reorganize it there. No. Daily. Portland can pretty much obliterate any of the dailies. Alright. Can you see me setting this up? No, you can't. <laughs> I'm setting up my controls here. Uh, can I add a new one? That'll be... M. Oops. All right. Perfect. Now I have full proper keyboard control again. It must have been just when I... It must have been when I reorganized the thing. That or maybe the UI setting. Maybe the UI update moved them around a little. I used to have one all set up. Oh well. You've been taking that survey for like an hour, son. Folks, that was so different from Yamashiro. It's kind of how funny how family resemblance in anime means basically nothing. It's so basically the brother's strong. Where one of them has a boxing glove for head. Boxing mask for a head, boxing gloves for hands, like all normal people do. One of them is a square, and the other is a... elephant. Oh, there's a better yellow AA from the research. Um, I've actually finally gotten a few of the prototype weapons from the research stuff. I figured it would take like months to get those, which it has been, it's been at least a month since research came out, but I thought it would be like forever, but I finally got a few of them. There we go. <laughs> Did you see that brief look of disappointment on Kaga? I had to get a Alright, back to... To this. Put Eldridge first. So you can activate that skill. Oh, dang. You should be in the middle. Alright. So the key to this fight is you want to save up your airstrikes for when it does the blue ball attack. Those blue balls will give you some serious blue balls. They deal like. A thousand damage each bullet. So, oops. No, 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 not me. Not auto. They, um, they'll take out down a destroyer in like three hits. And they always seem to hit. So you just, you just want to wipe the board once those come into play. You do not even want to try to dodge them and avoid it. And they come along just rarely enough that you should have it. You should have the uh, thing ready. <laughs> I also like to, on major bosses, I always try to save up extra airstrikes and uh, 
torpedoes to the actual boss, not for any of the escort fleet. Time now. There we go. That attack. You do not even want to see that attack complete. Oh, Oshay should go down pretty soon. Oops, that would be really, but that's fine. There's so much anime going on right now. Offering. Oh, Airstrike, please. Woo! That was close. I don't really need to clean it, clear it with everybody, okay? But. Still out damage the demon, huh? I like seeing a nice, even distribution of damage like that. Twenty-three really does a lot of damage, though. All right, that's twelve two. And three stars. Oh, this one does. Oh no, it was the hard mode that stopped giving gems and bulins. Which is rude. How many bulins do I have, by the way? Oop. No, you're fine. Uh... <laughs> Got about three rows of bulins. Probably use some of these. But if I want to get all the Frenchies up, I'll probably need a lot on those. Apparently Lena and Clevelad are in the default pool now, by the way. So they're not event ships that you need to prioritize. They're in the light construction pool, which means <laughs> it could take forever to get them, but they are in there. I wish there was a sort option by number of stars, so I could see who needs to be Buland. Let me know if you see any really good ships that I have not bothered to fully limit break, by the way. Is Yudachi- how do you even- where is Yukikaze from? Wasn't she event? Santa Cruz? Santa Cruz? Yeah, Yudachi is like... <laughs> I had to beat stage 6-4 a billion times for that. Shakaku and Zoikaku don't seem very good. Um, yeah, I don't really know who to Bulin up right now. Um... Super Gamer Kazuna AI seems pretty alright. I might max her out. Kaga and Akagi, I don't really want to use Bulins for. They're good, obviously, but everyone uses them in PvP, so I kind of don't want to. Aurora is really good, but I know I'll eventually get another dupe of her on my own. Hmm. I have a little dock space left, so I'll deal with it later. Yeah, I never really trusted those survey site things. <laughs> I like that. Hold on. She does the tea lizard thing. No. No, where's the ant? Where's the. No, where's the gif? Give me just the gif. There we go. There we go. The gif is better without the text. Anyway. There we go. 
Do, do the thing. Do the thing again. Do, no, no, do the thing. Do it. There you go. But that's none of my business. Yeah, I don't trust those survey things at all. <laughs> I barely trust that YouTube will take my survey stuff that I give them. Which they seem to ask for pretty often anymore. Well, sir, would you like to... Would you like to fill out the survey? Alright, since I'm going to be grinding with my main duders, I guess I should put my main duders in here for some XP. Yeah, yeah, oh. Um... Everyone based on level, basically. Uh... Portland, Hood, Phoenix. Who else am I bringing in the main fleet? Belfast? Yeah. And Akashi, because she's always behind. Akashi gets. Oh, wait. Do we have PvP things to use? Probably. Yeah. Akashi's always behind the other ones because I never use her. And. PvP. These matchups suck. Uh, I'll try this one. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Is anyone here seriously considering getting Google Sadia? Oh, I remember why I put Imagi in the middle because of the shot. Whatever. Like the Xbox Game Pass is like almost neat, but and it works on PC now too, right? But I'm still not got it. I I have too many games. I don't have not enough games is not really a problem, but I've had since graduating. <laughs> Laffy needs to just take a goddamn seat. Taunting me with those fallen wing ships, huh? people with your good internets. Damn you all. I do think Mediacom's little bit of fuckery seems to have ceased. So that's neat. Why is there a percent? I'm gonna look at that. Streamlabs. There's a percent thing on the thing. No, you can fight. Oh my god, who- oh, that's super- that's one of the Kazuna AI ships that just fucking screams. That's great, I love it. Um, I think- I think Super Gamer Kazuna does that. Shut the fuck up, Streamlabs, I'm just trying to change a thing. I just got like five intercital things like try our new feature and it's a feature I'm already using like I Incredible Truly fucking incredible. Where's the bot? Chat alerts Game woman. Where, Where's the thing? Thing protection Timers there it is Oh no, the, the percentage is just added by the bot. That's fucking weird. Huh. I would also need to not already have 1000 games on Steam. Yeah, I have that issue as well. Should I... Do I get anything for... What do I get for clearing... 3 star clearing... Twelve one. It doesn't tell me. I'll probably get a Bulin and some stuff, so I'll do that. On live is the only reason I ever played Borderlands. Really? Huh. Yeah, I guess it's great for like there's a replacement for dem like um renting, but. When playing this on mobile, you don't actually really- you barely get to see people's reactions being picked up because your thumb is, like, covering them. <laughs> I like the ones that just don't react. They've just accepted their fate. There's a surprising variety of reactions to it. Minneapolis is not a fan. Anyway, what's going on here? Oh, just that. Uh, sure. This. No. 
This thing is apparently like top tier, by the way, this type 1 piercing shell. Uh, it adds a lot of firepower and raises crit damage by a lot. It's good for battleships. And you wanna know how good the swordfish is? I've been told that the I've been told that there's better stuff in the research than this AA platform. It's really cheap though. I don't know how good the swordfish is though. I've been trying to just get one of each thing in here. The Skyrocket doesn't have the best stats, but it does have the best takeoff speed. So it's really good for Shahao and uh, Unicorn. Because their skills activate every launch. I guess it might be good for um, Ranger. I'm not sure if Ranger can equip it. I'm not sure what type of ship it is, though. Ranger is a stealth, like, really good ship, though. She, um... Eh? Oh, I moved somebody around. Um... She's very RNG based, but her airstrikes can deal an absolutely ludicrous amount of damage. And she can launch double airstrikes. So. I think she can launch double airstrikes and her airstrikes can be double damage. So if you get lucky, she can out damage Enterprise handily. But again, random. Enterprise is a lot more consistent. I almost kind of miss. I used to use Gamefly um, to try out games and stuff, but I have so much good stuff right now that I just haven't even played, so I don't really need that. I have a bunch of Steam bucks saved up because of selling trading cards, so from what stuff I can just get in a stupid Steam sale. Guys, stop ramming ships, please. <laughs> Does anyone use Glowworm just because she would reduce your auto battles ramming damage? Does Glowworm reduce the whole team's thing, or does she only reduce her own ramming damage? Poor Akashi takes nuts damage from the battleships. I'm not sure I should even bother still using her at this point. If it's mostly your main fleet that or your vanguard that takes damage, it tends to be better to bring Unicorn or Shaohao over Akashi. Then again, Akashi does have the thing where if you can draw out how long a fight takes, you get more heals, but I don't usually bother with that. It's very chance-based, whether you can even do it. You might not be able to do it. They're situational, more than chance-based, really. Not always the situation where you can do it. She's saying, she's saying, don't interrupt me while I'm fantasizing about Indy. She's gonna priority straight. Sad I'm not there just because it's so fancy and nice. 
And it's been fairly quiet. Hopefully the network bug has been fixed. We got in a new router board. We were supposed to Monday. I wasn't there, so I don't know, but it's... My network guy said it was. Hopefully that'll fix the dumb issues we've been having. See, look at look at the crazy amount of damage. The, the battle... The battleships are really on another level in the late game levels. They... They will deal the majority of damage to you, especially the three star ones. The two ones are kind of manageable. I'm actually gonna flip you in here, use a heal, fight some easier stuff for a bit. And that's why if you run out of ammo and you fight a battleship, which means it's gonna take twice as long, you're probably just gonna get knocked out. Venture forth. It's gonna be a shame that Super Gamer Kazuna AI just literally screams at the start of battle because she does actually seem pretty good. She's got an auto fire barrage that doesn't trigger when her shot does. So it happens a lot more often, and she fires torpedoes. So she does a lot more trickle damage than um, most battleships. Usually it's volley or nothing. Has anyone started using Massachusetts yet, by the way? I was wondering... I was wondering if she could use that flak cannon kind of shell that explodes midair. I wonder if she could use that to better effect, because wouldn't her skill override that so it just acts like a normal shell? Oh shit, this is the wrong map. I thought I thought it was doing 12-1 to clear up the three stars. I'm doing the real map. I'm doing, I'm doing big boy stuff. Oops. I just looked over at the stars and I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I want to risk. Not yet. I'll clean up the baby mode ship first. Hey there, Sikijin. However you say that. Um, you can stay there. I'm gonna do this one on manual just so we can draw it out and heal a little bit. A few more percent on uh, on hood, and I would feel a lot more confident about that three star ship. <laughs> Cargo ships are great to draw out fights on, because they're practically defenseless. By practically defenseless, I mean a bunch of ships. The harder ones are a bit better than the early game ones, but it's just super fine. She's not the last one, is she? We would couldn't really dawdle that one at all, actually, after all. There's a certain... I don't know if they're like heavy cruisers but there's some kind of like a NPC ship that just sits in the back row and you can just drag out battles forever against them and now there's two of them okay I'm not gonna be able to three-star this one this time at least probably not dare I Enterprise can probably handle one. Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, I just had a, um... I had a level here in chapter 12. I only needed one more clear four. So I just decided why not. You're talking about the destroyer gun, right? That's supposed to be like the best current destroyer gun. I think that drops B or D2. I've been grinding that one, but I'm not sure if I'll get enough plans for a second one. I've gotten like three. I'm not sure how practical it is. I very rarely get any of the like really good stuff. Get enough plans for them. It's Congo Bongo. I'm so tired of fighting the same ships in the higher levels. They're all. Chapters 9 through 12 are basically the same thing, just with more HP. Let me see how many of that thing I do have. Depot. At first I didn't even realize you could get more of- Whoa! Hey! Decreases ambush chance by 12%. Hmm. Does not stack, but does that stack with because that's a different skill than the SG radar? Does that mean it stacks with the other one? Anyway, they don't stack with each other. Oh, that's rude because I usually have an SG radar anyway. You got a second one just from plan drops? Uh, where is it? Did I miss it? I must have at least one, right? Do I not even have one? I know I have, I have some of the blue one or the pink ones. Purple. Whatever color it is. Yeah, this thing. Only six in total. Jeez. Huh. I have not been as lucky, but I haven't been grinding it crazy hard. If I get three, that will be. I would be really impressed, honestly. But sounds like that might be possible. Have they ever done an event that had unique blueprint drops before? I was not even prepared for that being an aspect of it. Ooh, I'll take that. I don't believe this has been a thing. Oh, you spent a lot more oil than me. I'm... I guess I can actually track that now. Because of this thing. Oh, I'm at more than I thought. 31,000. Uh, come on, Akashi. Uh... Why does everything spawn outside of sub range? Alright, I'm gonna give up on the three star dream. That's not gonna happen. Portland here. Eh. Boss node will probably spawn now, so. I can do the three star later. There's a lot more drops in this map, or in this stage, than I was expecting. There's like four or five unique ships you can get here. There's a couple new Japanese carriers, I think. There's the... There's the Atago sister, heavy cruiser lady. I thought there was something more than that, but I can't think of it. I have terrible luck. I've gotten no unique drops beyond chapter 8. Or beyond chapter 7, really. I haven't even gotten the chapter 8 one. 
Netherlands. Except I got, um, I got Colombia. I got Colombia first try, too. Like, the first clear of that map. I was really surprised. I don't have Jenkins or the Ram and Ram sisters or Radford, Nicholas, any of those. Columbia took 310 runs? Yeah, that sounds like chapter 8 for me. Nizuki? I think that's one of the ones I'm talking about. I can't remember their names. They're, they're just Japanese destroyers, so I'm not really... They're not high on my priority list. Nah, I'm not gonna risk the oil. If only two left, I might be able to... Nah, not with no ammo, though. I think if I took that when I still had ammo, I could have taken them, but... That's like half a D3 clear worth of oil for that one fight. Do you want to max fleet tech? I don't think you can max fleet tech currently, but... And the destroyers are so low. Destroyers are weak even on that. Which is really rude because destroyers cost no less Bulins and stuff to max out, but they have so much less research. It's rude. All of the 18 billion Japanese destroyers I have to max out will add like five fleet tech. It's rude. Oh, this is them! These are the new carriers I was talking about. They got little flags or scrolls or something. They just came from an anime convention. Oops, I shouldn't have that flag. That, I don't even know what this guy's nasty barrage is gonna look like. I'm sure they've got one. Oh wait, maybe it's just fucking planes because they're carriers, never mind. I'm too used to fighting DD fleets. Oh. <laughs> Did you see them dodge those plane torpedoes? That was rude. I feel attacked. Take that shit out. Oh, frig. Whatever. Oh my god. Oh shit! I just noticed. Why? Why is a Magi not in the back row? God damn it. I thought I had a Magi. I'm gonna change that right now. That's gonna screw me up. I almost lost that whole round because of that. You should be there. Ugh. Well, let's try to do a little bit better this time. Ben Vracy monthly tech. I don't wail, so I'm not. Plus, I started like months after the game started. I started at the very end of the Fallen Wings thing, and I'm a little sad because like almost all of the units in that I like. It's got West Virginia. It's got um, Washington. I forget who else. It's got a bunch of really good battleships, I guess. They had like six or so units, it was pretty big. But I joined for that Tuni event. I got everybody, so I was pretty happy with that. I'd rather have all of the Neptuni events than all of the... I don't know why Firefighters torpedoes. I'd rather have all the Neptunia ships than all the Fallen Wings ones. Especially because that'll eventually be beat. I assume. Oh, 
Oops, that might have been a bit early. <laughs> nah, still got him. Sink, damn it. Well, switching in Amagi did not help at all. I guess I need better AA. I didn't realize I was going to be fighting planes. We're close-ish. We're close-ish. Somebody- No! Amagi! Shit! God damn it. Um... Already on circular defense. Twelve three? Twelve three is hardest map, really? Huh. I wasn't expecting goddamn. I would have taken more AA guns if I knew this was gonna be a plain boss. This is my first attempt on it. So. I had to hear 12 4 is easier though. I probably won't even try it until the end of this event, but. I just like having the story clear, even if there's not a lot of reason to do it. Because the ships are insanely hard to get, and they're usually not particularly good. There's Jinsu or whatever. That one with a really good torpedo buff. Obviously, it's Kagi and Kaga, but they're not like. Hard. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they would come out with that Sandy retrofit. And then I could bring her for all the Chapter 12 bullshit. My Sandy isn't really at the right level anymore. Chapter 12 for now. I'll have to rejigger my ships. That's a pain in the ass. Oh well. I can do this for like way less oil. No, leave. Jojo Senki. I'm not even familiar with that. I'm jealous that Girls Frontline got the uh, Valhalla crossover. <laughs> I'm not even particularly sure why. I guess I'm not sure why that would be good boats either, but... The most you hear about guns in that entire game is when one character gets shot and <laughs> it all happens off screen. It's a bartending game, obviously. D2 is the one, right? By the way, if you didn't if you didn't know, like me, you can click in on these to see exactly what you can get. I think you can get other stuff, but these are like the featured items. So yeah, this is currently the best destroyer gun in the game, so you want to grind D2. You can also get Mars from D2, which I haven't. I've got one drop of her. It wasn't from D2, though. D3, you can get both Mars and Triumphant, but... It doesn't- it has it has, um... Is this gun only good for, uh, Jean Bart? Who I don't even think I'm probably gonna use. Hmm. 
What sucks about this is if only battleships included battle cruisers, I could use so much less oil. Though I need experience. I need stupid butt experience. Um, Japanese battleship experience for the priority ship I'm probably <laughs> never going to use. I might just bring Queen E in Warspite though. Torpedo go down. I probably unequipped somebody. Oh, right, because you had the. Oh, well, I'll just swap you with Eldridge, honestly. That'll do. I got Belfast at least, but Portland is my best heavy cruiser by a lot. I wish they'd give, give India retrofit already. Oh shit. Oh, I can't do that. Because, hmm, stupid torpedo costs. Uh, how much torpedo does freaking Torpedo Queen have? If clearing mode removed the requirements, that would be amazing. Because it is a real pain in my ass for a lot of these things. I don't have... That should do. I'm, I'm neither a whale nor have I spent, you know, nor have been playing the entire length of the game, so I don't have... I don't have anyone to 120 yet. I don't have... Like, PvP ready you know, high-level content-ready stuff for, you know, for Portland Front. Carriers I never have trouble with. I, I got Enterprise and Lusty early. And Saratoga. I'm really glad Saratoga got a retrofit, because I used to use her a ton. But pre-retrofit, she wasn't super amazing. But the retrofit stats and skills are pretty nice. I need to finish him leveling up Unicorn though. So he's really good for just healing on maps where all your Vanguard takes all the damage. It's weird having a battleship with no like Barrage skill. Queen E's pretty hurt without it though. When I say I'm not a whale, I don't mean I haven't paid. I've been on. I've at least probably half the time I've been playing or more. I've been on the monthly thing and I got I bought one of the I bought the Neptunia pack thinger. Uh, don't, no, not auto submarine. That <laughs> defeats the purpose of the low oil fleet. Those submarines <laughs> kind of cost less than my main fleet. Enterprise lust the unicorn is broken, I should have come those good for late game. They're still all really good, even in late game. The problem is, um, you really need a battleship or battle cruiser to soak up um, the large, large main fleet shots. Enterprise can probably last any one of those could probably last like one fight, but you'd have to rotate them out. It'd be really risky.
World 12 Plus doesn't have suicide boats. Do it doesn't? I hadn't, I hadn't noticed. I was too busy looking at the planes. Yeah, the carriers are pretty alright on anti-aircraft, um, but the battleships can chew you up still. I had noticed my battles or my back fleet hadn't been taking as much damage. I thought it was just because of the I cranked my AA up to max. Yeah, this will do fine. I might be able to ditch Belfast, but I don't know. Compared to AA guns, fire do a lot more burst damage. They generally wipe out the planes that intercept. Yeah, I have, I have a... I was meaning to ask about that. Is a fighter slot better than an AA gun? I haven't really been able to watch for the intercepts. To, like, tell how much damage they deal. A stat not only deals my damage, the lance reduces. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier. It's basically like having more HP against planes, well having more defense, more so than having more HP. Gold ships is a random suicide boat, but it's the only fleet. Gold ships are a cargo ships are a free win anyway. Slightly less so in map 12 compared to before, but it's still relatively free. Fighters are better, but they have to intercept. Is the plane volley? If you actually launch an airstrike, those fighters still do AA stuff too, right? Obviously, otherwise, you still have to count for the cooldown. Uh, yeah, I'm plenty strong for this. I should be able to do this with just port. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to you. Oops. I'm just gonna do this manual just because Aya kind of is not made for taking damage. Or auto in general. Did I put magnetic torpedoes on her? I don't remember. I put magnetic torpedoes on all my PvP duders. Because <laughs> the AI is fucking garbage with torpedoes. Yeah, she's got magnets. Oh, it's actually the Akutic Guide. It's the Akutic. It's the acoustic guidance that makes them do that. But all magnetic torpedoes in this game have acoustic guidance. Wait, what's particularly what's what what's this about swordfish slowing? I like that her victory quote, she just kind of grunts. Relatable. Disappointed War Spite doesn't have a bit of a deeper voice. Swordfish on core data slows by 60% for 8 seconds. Whoa! Oh, okay, I'm definitely gonna get that then. I hate that you can't see the actual stats from the core data thing. I mean, you can look it up on the wiki, but... Tell me in game. So much other stuff tells you everything in game, but the core, the core shop just doesn't want to tell you. It just tells you useless, useless historical trivia about it, which is then cut off because their localizers didn't do a great job. Because Chinese takes up a lot less space. I could definitely get rid of Belfast. No problem. I'd have no idea why I was using this many ships. I think it was just, I started with like four and I was just removing ships one at a time. Slower than Kudo, it has that extra utility. Oh yeah, the Barracuda is really fast. I That's what I use for, um, um, second slot on Unicorn. I didn't even know she was in the game. I must have been an event I missed.
敵の皆様次は少々痛くなりますよ敵の皆様次は少々痛くなりますよ I'm sad my queenie isn't getting any chance to deal real damage so you don't get to hear piece of cake just barely gets to shoot <laughs> I guess part of that's because I have a four shot on her. I'm not sure why. Are the slower firing ones okay to use on the ones without barrages? I mean, just for grinding, the faster ones tend to be better just because you barely get to actually fire otherwise, but. Slide. Yeah, you can link the stuff. Um, let me show. Look that up on the wiki. Swordfish. Very swordfish. A one. That's the one from. Um, those are specifically the ones from um, Arc Royale, right? Torpedo bomber. Reduces speed of enemies 60% for 8 seconds when the torpedoes hit the target. That is awesome, actually. Huh. Shame it's only after the torpedoes hit, though. <laughs> because torpedo bombers have a bad habit of missing. Especially the sort, the the uh, the Sakura style ones. Is it just me, or are those drastically less likely to actually hit targets? I mean, if the enemies are stationary, sure, but that doesn't. To happen. Yeah, here's the in-game info. I, I never use the Sakura ones on purpose. I don't even think I have any particularly good Sakura ones. Oops, let's chat. Don't hide chat. Wait, where is this? Oh, oops. Get. Get out of the way! I'm trying to do stuff, buddy. Get, come over here, buddy. There you go. I hate that this one requires destroyers. Destroyers are the worst for bosses, but oh. Well, they're we're the worst on auto. They're they're actually kind of the best for bosses, but they're. They're the worst on auto, because the auto does not make good use of their movement speed or their torpedoes. Which are generally the best features they have, so that's great. Uh, what the hell do enhance? Sure. Uh, I don't really use the foxes. Why do you even have any... Oh, you! Yes. Hold on. I was about to say, do I even have any decent carriers that still need aviation? If I remember correctly, I believe none out of the aviation battleships. I think two of them? Never actually got finished. I forget which ones. Two of them never actually got the retrofit and never actually became aviation battleships. And the other two never actually launched planes, like, in a battle. Portland usually takes MVP, so I can see. Hey, how is good is South Dakota solo? I want to use her, but I haven't leveled her up as much. She's level 80 something, so it wouldn't be too hard to grind her up, but. Why are you. Oh, right, I got into a fight, didn't I? I'll see how bad this goes on auto. Not great. And you're supposed to bring Washington, but I don't have Washington. <laughs>
Oh, hey, I guess I could use Z23 instead, because she's mostly guns. I guess maybe it would be OP, but I think it's kind of rude that Eldritch's skill can't trigger for the first 20 seconds. A lot of skills like that trigger at the beginning of the fight, and then every X seconds after. But for the first 20 seconds of the fight, Eldritch is like, your most vulnerable character. Spite, please. Frick. I probably should just use my auto please. <laughs> Trying that on auto was not my best idea. Aya is dog shit on auto. You know what? It doesn't even matter if I beat the boss. I I'm just grinding drops. Somebody want to grind in here. Yamshiro. The Buki's torpedo can't trigger. I don't use the Buki. Do I have her? I'm gonna try to. Aya, you are not made for auto battle. You get replaced. I'll put you in Phoenix. That'll be fine. And AI is shit at using. Eldridge, so let me put Phoenix in. That should work. Hey, what were you saying about which ships you fight depend, like, change which kind of drops you get? So, like, should I be fighting um, recon fleets to get the... to get the... thing drops? Of course, recon fleets are like the rarest kinds to get. Is that how it works or what? I haven't paid a great deal of attention to the uh, planned drops just because I'm usually grinding for ships instead because that's a lot more fun. Oh, right. I was going to try that without Belfast. When you go into a fight, click the plane. Click the plate so you can see your oil. Oh, you can check it per battle! I didn't know that! Alright, I'll do that next time. I'm not used to mobile games having good user experience stuff. That's... Food Fantasy was like that too, though, so I guess I should have tried that. Food Fantasy had was really good at giving you info. That's it. Just, just sit directly in the fire. Good AI. Pet, pet. Move directly with the shots at you so you, they keep hitting you. I'll drop general plates, but the other two change. Pedo is only from light, plane from CV, main gun only from VB. Does that include... Does that include the DD and other main guns, though? I guess it should. Oh, but there's no gold. Do I have to fight the elites for the gold, then? Oh, you mean these plates? I meant... I meant this. These things I don't care as much about. No torpedo and planes. Oh, I get what you mean. 
I only really need main gun and general parts. And general parts drop from everything. I just need so fucking many of them. I always have tons of torpedo and stuff. It's annoying because I usually, well at least on actually high level maps, I usually avoid the BBs because they're the only ones that deal actual damage. But in event maps it's fine. Uh, but it's, so is that, I thought you meant for the plans. Um, is that not how the plans work then? Are the plans just anything? Oh shit, does that mean only the boss drops? Does only the boss drop that um, BB part then? Or the... DD part. Plan's always random. Uh -huh. This list is a big difference. Only boss drops gold and sirens. Okay, so I'll fight the sirens then. And again, I've been avoiding the sirens just because the auto battle is not as good with them. Fights take like 20 seconds, but... I like being able to just put it on auto so I can chat and read stuff. It's not like Muse Dash where I can't talk while streaming for like four minutes at a time. I see my Discord's getting wild and rowdy again. I just saw this get posted in there. In fact, that's a good. I'm gonna go get a refreshment break. This was reminding me that I need ice cool refreshments, such as a nice frosty $5 footlong Pop Tart. Which they don't really do. They haven't really done $5 footlongs in a long time, inflation and all. Um, but <laughs> hold on just a sec while they leave you with this blessed image. Oops, no, no, no. So I'm getting- I'm still getting used to this new- this bold new world of streaming on Streamlabs OBS. What is this that I'm grabbing? There's... stuff on my screen. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Be right back.
You know, I always miss summer when it's not summer. And then summer happens and I remember, oh right, that's when there's bugs all over. I, have, I found ants in my sink today. And I don't know how they got there because I couldn't find them anywhere except in the sink. So I'm like afraid they're like climbing through the pipes or something. Um, and I just kind of gave them a nice long bath in the sink. And I don't think there's any more ants there, so hopefully that solves that for now. I couldn't find like a little ant trail. I like when you get ants, you gotta watch. Try to like watch for one like leading away from the group, because they're probably going back to the nest. But I couldn't find any like that. I'm trying to think about what my lowest oil option for the situation is. This isn't really too bad though. The best I could do would probably be still more than half of what I'm currently using. Spiders and ants. I'm fine with spiders and ants outside. Not inside. So, that was kind of neat, but roguelike plus metroidvania doesn't doesn't do too well by me. I should probably put chat on the other side, come to think of it. Chat probably... Oops. Um, for this game, chat probably makes more sense over here, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm not used to having to put chat on stream. I don't like having to do it. people that, on YouTube to know I'm not crazy and I'm not just talking to myself. It's weird because that's basically what running a YouTube channel, a gaming YouTube channel is. Being crazy and talking to yourself, but... What fish is this one, by the way? This one and the... the one that shoots out seahorses. What are they? One of them looks like seaweed or something. Like a bush. I want to say a ray, but there's a different one that's more clearly a ray. No, Tester is a ray. Um, well, I guess there's also a guitar fish, so it could be a different kind of ray. I don't know, what is, what is she? Cleveland, a sacrificial battleship. I guess that's an idea. I don't know if I have any that low level. If you get a lower score, doesn't that reduce your ability to... That reduces your drops, right? That is a clever way of getting around that stupid crap, though. But I'm not sure if my stats would be good enough. Definitely taking a lot more damage going right after the sirens, but oh well. This Queen E is not really my best equipped battleship. Actually, she is my best equipped battleship. I usually use battle cruisers. I'm all about Hood and Amagi usually. Oh, you're grinding for the points. I'm grinding for the, um, well, for the points as well, but I mostly want the, uh... This map in particular drops the best DD gun currently in the game. That single cannon thing. I already got one of them from the shop, so... In theory, I probably just need three more. Well, with DD guns, because you can put them on battleships and stuff. Not a good idea to have... Or not a bad idea to have more, but I don't know how many I'll be able to get. I want 20 Lamarses. I haven't had... Actually, I've never gotten a duplicate Lamars drop yet. I want a max limit breaker at least. She's cute. No main fleets to grind on, I guess. Let's go for the one we already beat up. Mm. 
also gave you this daily damage most of the time. Huh. You're probably not fighting the sirens though, are you? It's usually the sirens that deal me background for damage. At least the battleship ones. Really? Huh. I guess as long as the unicorn's the flagship, they go after her first. The oil use for the boss fleet doesn't really matter half as much. This chick, what is she? Is she like a sea anemone or something? The wiki has surprisingly low information on the sirens, by the way. They list their names and what what type of ship they are, and that's it. There's no there's not even pictures of them. It's so weird. There's like you can't find pictures of most of the sirens. It's so weird. Everybody wets their panties over the frickin' whatever they're called, the the siren equivalents in Cancole, but no one gives a shit about the poor sirens in this game. This one is frustrating for me because I need I need Japanese BB experience for this, but my Japanese battleships are not actually good enough to do well here. So they're just wasted oil. And damn do they waste a lot of oil. Battleship Kaga is only five stars and she costs twelve. <laughs> She's almost level ninety and she'll be probably fifteen oil after. It's so weird that the main story for the Sirens is all in the events, though. So if you miss an event, you miss out on the main story. Meanwhile, the quote-unquote story mode stopped having story in, like, stage 3 out of 12. Or 13 if you're in Chinese. Retro is apparently one of the best ships in the game, but she's not super great before that. Her skill's alright, it usually hits the boss after all. She's one of the only two SRs with uh, Retro Fit. I like her to use her sometimes. Hood does clearly more damage. For now, so. She deals more consistent damage more consistently, but Hood's Barrage. It's got over 50% chance, and it just does crazy damage. Yeah, anytime Hood doesn't do her barrage, or if the barrage hits in a useless manner, I'd expect War Spite to do more damage. Is War Spite's barrage perfect accuracy? Her special skill? I think it's either that or it's like always a crit, which I'm not sure if crits are always perfectly accurate or not. <laughs> the face for a brief second was a big mood. Oh, it misses fairly often. 
It's 100% crit. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah, with the... Uh, yeah, I was wondering if anybody had a perfect crit. That would be fantastic with the uh, Type 1 shell. I wish we'd just stay on the event here. There's no reason to get 3-star if I already have it on the easy mode map, right? You seem good here. We cleared with plenty of time on the boss, right? <laughs> Unicorn with retrofit would be nuts. I guess Xiao Hao already has one. But she's really good, too. <laughs> Unicorn with quick takeoff. I don't think they would do that. That would be a bit much. I wouldn't say no to another skill on Unicorn. Oops, this is the wrong fleet. Oh well. Why is Nicholas like five in this <laughs> loading screen? What if Imagi got a retrofit? Yeah, that's definitely not gonna happen. But... She doesn't even have a slot for another skill. I'm not sure every retrofit includes a skill, though. Surely not all of them do. To be the angling? I don't know. The two that are already right near the thing look pretty short. A lot of the character, a lot of the loading screen art is a little bit off model, especially yes. age-wise. I mean, there's no official heights and stuff, so they'll just do whatever they want. Uh, wrong favorite ships in the game. What's annoying is there the, a couple of those are only in the um, light construction. So there's some of the only comments that I have maxed out. So as much as I don't like them, I have to collect them now. And I scrapped at least one of each of the construction only ones, because before Fleet Tech came out, I just didn't want to keep the rare and common Japanese and German ships that I was never going to use anyway. Study even supposed to mean? What, what is that? Does anyone have any opinions on I 19, by the way? Is she worth two? Extra protobulins. I've got her stuck at level 90, so I stopped using her. All my other subs are elite. She seems good, but... With how infrequently you get to use subs, I wasn't sure about it. Subs worth it? I mean, you might as well. Subs are... When you can use them, they're a huge amount of, like, almost free damage. KMS are by far the best for subs. Yeah, the Wolfpack Tactics thing is really cool. I want to get 81. If I got 81, I would probably max limit breaker because I'm using U556 all the time. I'm usually using uh, 73, I think. Germans have the numbers. I mean, they did have over 500 subs. But... It's 
still. Okay, subs can help a lot for damage, especially just with the with just the auto attack they do. Like they can reduce damage or enemy defense by like 20%, I think is the highest I've seen. Subs start being a lot more relevant late game and in hard mode event maps. I think starting with stage 11, every single map lets you use subs instead of just the boss map. You just gradually start getting more maps where you can actually use the subs. But they deal crazy damage. Um, 553 occasionally even gets MVP. When I first got subs, I thought they would absolutely never get MVP. I was kind of wondering if they even had quotes. But it turns out everyone has MVP quotes, even Akashi, who can, as far as I know, literally never get it. third cruiser that's like extremely good for grinding stuff like Portland well, I guess but like a gun only cruiser like Phoenix and Portland because the AI is pretty dumb at using Belfast Cleveland I haven't used the uh, I haven't used the Cleveland class stuff too much Oh yeah, Magami has a Vetro, doesn't she? Oh yeah, I don't have Minneapolis either. Minneapolis... Minneapolis is like my favorite unit that I don't have. She was the main reason I want Fallen Wings again. Minneapolis has really cool skills. She's got one of those things that starts to heal you once you're really low health, and it does... She does more damage while it's in effect, I think. Subs equipped with Rainbow Ox Torpedoes. Yeah, I guess you could do that. I usually don't, though, just because you use them fairly inconsistently, and they're only there for part of the battle. And most importantly, they're almost never there for the boss. I love when they are, but they usually aren't. Well, we've got Belfast in the front here, and there's just like a squeaky little kid in the background. Here's real footage of Queen Elizabeth in World War II, by the way. Actual colorized naval footage. Very rare. Just recently restored. Coincidentally, it is also Graf Zeppelins. 
Actually, this is even more Graf Zeppelin, but... She didn't even actually launch. She quote-unquote launched, but in the Nazi propaganda way of her not actually launching. I guess Belfast does get MVP sometimes, even with Portland around. Depends on how, how the torpedoes hit. It's like most DDs for grinding. Yeah, other than if you're doing super low level content, uh, casting and downers are amazing because they cost one oil. Uh, but for any kind of higher level content, the torpedoes just don't work right. 23 works well though because she's mostly gun. Didn't get 23. Er, got 23. Uh, 46. She's the only one I didn't get from that event. That one has to repeat eventually though because that's where you get um, one of the German subs. The one that's not wearing any clothes. You know the one. Eldridge. I mean, Eldridge's skill usually takes effect. Eldridge is a crazy RNG. You just gotta not let her get hit for the first 20 seconds. That's the annoying part. The AI obviously does not do a good job. I should probably do three vanguards and remove um, Yamashiro, which is not doing a lot here. Yeah, take the reins here. Put 23. Or not here. I'll put somebody here. I usually save one completely for the boss. It's alright for a grinding map like this, but for hard, for really late game story content, I always save a, boss, a fleet completely free. Uh, the PS4 version I'm really excited for. Um, that should be cool. Um, I probably won't bother watching the anime, but that's cool, I guess. Is there really any reason to clear D3 other than possible triumphant stuff? Drops. As much as I need battleship, I guess I can... No, I can't really get experience for any of the others while doing this. Priority ship, oh. It has to be a DD, huh? Uh, may as well put an Eldridge back in there. The priority ships I have left, it's two it's the two Japanese ones and the German one. And I do not have high level fleets to grind for any of those. I have a Magi. I have a Magi for the Jer the battleship one, but I can't bring a Magi here. Unless I bring like a trash oops, this is the wrong fleet again. I'd have to bring a trash battleship, which isn't the worst idea. Z23 is what it, who I started with. Yes. My eye is a little bit under level. She's 97 right now. And she's garbage at auto content, so... I know she's good in everything, but I don't use her as much. I, you guys take way too much damage, stop that. This was a particularly poor fight for, for me to bring this team into on accident. The Siren fights are really quick if you're on auto, but if you play them on- or if you play them manually, but if you play them on auto, they just sit in the damage. But yeah, 23 is really good. 
And she focuses on guns, so she's a lot better at dealing dealing with auto content. I didn't get speed. I'll definitely grind Deutschland, Leipzig, and somebody. I guess I'll retrofit the common cruisers when I get room, but I don't use the German ships a lot. I don't like any of the ships that heavily depend on like specific team setups. So sort of like the American ships. I must use Americans and Brits. Sixteen on the be good. I leveled her up a lot when I was getting um whatever the British one was. I don't even remember. Was that St. Louis? No, St. Louis was the American. What was the American one? I don't remember. Come here. Get hit with the sub. I kinda wish the sirens didn't all have the exact same like color scheme. Let's switch it up just a little. Give them different colored eyes or something at least. I'm not a fan of the level 120 requirement for the uh faction buff stuff. I gladly level 100 everybody for it, but 120, that's a lot of grind. Yeah, St. Louis is the, uh, the Americans not have a, like, big unfinished ship that they could have used for us or something? Good safe place to be. You should be in here. Good things will happen if you come here. Oh, is I the one the ones you're supposed to use with that really high reload blue gun? Are you supposed to put that on Eldridge or not? I usually prefer the magnetics just because I usually use auto, so... Let's them actually have a chance of hitting. Knowledge is 100M. Uh, which one is that? I don't know. I don't know the guns by numbers. Let me just show you what I have on Eldritch, I guess. I probably can't change it right now. This thing. I just usually use that. And I'll have one of this, so it's on 23. Yeah, can't change. What's the one? Yeah, yeah. Is it DD? Oh. Okay. 
I guess you can use DD guns. So what's this 100 we're talking about? Oh, god damn it! You. Wait, this thing? I've only got one gold of that. Is this, this is what we're talking about? The twin 100? I have a few of them for in purple. Bigfoot, FP Ox for DD and CL. Well, they just introduced the FP Ox. Um, I think you might only be able to use it on battleships, but the uh, the piercing shell. I haven't used it yet because I haven't upgraded it. Speed difference is big. Oh yeah, that's a really high fire rate. Wait, but I, uh, uh, hold on. Let's do this one first. Oop. No, no, no. Go away. Um, for Aya, we want... You're talking about... Come on. You're talking about this thing, right? That's the one you want for Aya? Wow, the 100 isn't that drastically much slower than it. Does anybody else need this? I got a couple of them in reserve. have a full submarine fleet when you, when you only have one sub or two even then they just run out of ammo like instantly oh, put on everything with the pool looking barrage i was considering it for eldritch but i don't know but apparently that's not the best for eldritch the the one other one isn't that much slower anyway Faster. Why am I being linked to Chuck E. Cheese's? <laughs> to each his own. Chuck E. Cheese is getting on, pissing on Bitcoin. Imagine getting dunked on by Chuck E. Cheese's Twitter. That's pretty hardcore. Ara. The 103 is pretty fast too, right? I assume anything with one turret. This <laughs> is supposed to be fast at least. Uh, as well go for the big boys.
Deutschland was a bitch for me to get. I wasn't super... I wasn't gonna be super busted up about not getting her, but... Um, because I was already missing... Let's see, 46. I don't really use the German ships a lot. Um... But I was up the night, the very last night that it was, that the event was on. And I was running out of oil and it was like 11 o'clock on a work night. And I had just, um, I just barely managed to get her and I like immediately turned off the game and went to bed. Because I, I'd gotten the skin for her from the event. And it's like, it, it would just suck to have a skin for somebody you don't even have. That event should come back though and hopefully I'll get 46 then. And this... 40? 46? Something in the 40s is the sub. No, 46 is the destroyer. Well, I mean, they're different numbers. So maybe, I don't know. Why is there a cross? I think Streamlabs adds random symbols so it doesn't get caught by auto mod or something. I had to see if you can do something in the 80s, right? Each of them drop. I don't know who Aditsuki is. I don't know if I have that. It might have been for an event before I got in the game. The first event I actually completed was uh, the Neptunia one. So that's why I started the game. That's a retrofit. <laughs> Wait, doesn't Jinsu have a retrofit? I'm not sure about that. Though it is kind of a shame. I... This game partially keeps to the Gashapon game concept of only buff skills, or only buff characters never nerf. Um, but they only do the buffing via the retrofits that I can tell. I've never seen the balance stats beyond that. And that, that's kind of a shame because then if somebody's retrofit isn't enough to make them relevant, they're just kind of fucked. So all it really takes is somebody better than you getting a retrofit. Plus it's expensive. Retrofitting... <laughs> retrofitting is expensive, so... Yeah. If, I don't know if we've gotten a single plan. I've only done three clears, which I guess is not a lot in super mega grind numbers, but it's a lot for me. Just to get nothing. Uh, did we get any? Nope, we haven't got a single one. Yeah, I I'd be happy with just like one of these. I don't... I don't have the patience to grind out all of that. We do have a while though. We still got like eight days. Oops, no. Can't buy anything cool. Kind of got all of the cool items already. I feel like I wouldn't be dealing enough damage to clear stuff without taking some damage if I dropped either Belfast or Portland. Come here. Come here. I like fighting the sirens because you can bring them into sub range. You can't usually do that. They should let me do that to bosses. So unfair they get like cool shark subs and everyone just gets boards.
I guess it's probably partly on purpose that the German subs are the best. They kind of put them to most effective use in World War II. Meanwhile, they did kind of the least effective of everything else. What can you expect when you're going against Britain, which is completely surrounded by water, America, and Japan? Japan kind of only joining in the war because of their desire to psychotically control the entire Pacific Ocean. Good luck with that. Is Shigura any good? I keep getting drops of her. I've got her maxed out. I, this dog weirds me out. It's like a camel moose dog. Or a camel alpaca dog. I don't trust those beady eyes. I know she's a Nautilus, but she still looks like a hornet. She, she doesn't really look as much like a Nautilus as she does like a hornet. We got the purple one at least. Disappointing, but is the purple? Would you say the purple French gun is still better than like um, the stock gold DD gun? Oh, you're out of ammo. Freak. I only see the dog. The dog, like, I don't know. He creeps me out. Yeah, Helena's costume's cute. I don't use her a lot, though. I've, I've been stingy on the costumes because I've, they're not usually for characters I would use a ton. And the ones for characters I do use a ton, I'm not a huge fan of. Portland and Indies ones are cute, but they're kind of a lot. And I kind of prefer the default outfits anyway. Akagi and Kaga should absolutely never get a retrofit. They're still way too OP. They're, they've been they've been the meta of fucking multiplayer since the game began. It's stupid as hell, honestly. They're the only team that I can't deal with. Like Nagato, or Nagato, whatever his stupid name is, is honestly irrelevant. Like I run from teams with her, but only because they always have Kaga and Akagi. Like, she is not the problem with the PvP teams. If any, if any SRs get retro, it would probably be... It would have to be somebody from the main pool that is not very good. That's why Sandy and uh, Warspike got them. Enterprise? My problem with those two is that they usually damage Eldritch too much before she can even do her thing. Prince Retro would make sense. She's... I think most people consider her the worst SR. She's tanky, but that's about it. I don't know about KMS suddenly being too strong, though. I never see KMS teams in PvP, and when I do see them... <laughs> They're, they're not a problem. Even like married graph and etc. teams, I'm usually fine at dealing with. I mean, it could just be a factor of lots of whales early on would have married Akaga and Akagi, so they just have really strong Japanese fleets already. So there's that inertia to deal with. I don't know. 
Tago and Tago are worst SRs. Yeah, I was not impressed with them when I tried to use them. I'll level them up a lot more when I have to do the, that one cruiser, Ibuki. It's a shame, they're hot, but like, I don't know, they don't, they don't have particularly impressive skills. Yeah, I've seen teams with like, married Graf, um, Tirpitz, and Bismarck. And not, <laughs> I've not been impressed. I usually get like three out of the four. I usually get, have Nagato, Natagi, and Kaga. And the, the Vanguard usually doesn't matter, but there's usually Yuki Kaze in there.私の顔に幾ら見ても私が強くな女の子の体重はアンチョ指揮官様この指揮官そんなに見つめたらお前をつい食べたくなるぞいい調子だ新しい戦い方をいくつか思いついたいやロールは I just give you a couple. Nope. No battleships. Oops. No battleships. I've barely seen a decently leveled rune. In fact, I'm not sure I've ever seen a fully leveled rune. Or I mean, like, even over a level 100 room in PvP. I've been ignoring my priority ships too, though. You have to have crazy amounts of, uh, fingers. Shut up. <laughs> Y'all with your squeaky voices. I can't deal with it. Right, I gotta retrofute you sometime. I hate how many purple plans you need. I have several hundred blue plans. I have like 50 plus of each orange plan. I have zero goddamn purple plans for anything. Well, I've got CV ones because nothing uses them, but... Uh... Oh, you're pretty much done. もし神がいるなら指揮官指揮官はどんな音楽を聞く私自信があるぞ Eh, sure. I need to start using some Bulans. <laughs> Nagato will never get a, a retrofit in this. They really do love giving amazing skills and stats to completely useless ships. Oh, that's that anti-air platform from research, isn't it? I'm not sure I've ever seen. How did you get that already? Oh yeah, Airbus and Terror definitely need retrofit. It is so un their their stats are completely unfair. They have nothing going for them but their skills. Historically speaking, their health and stuff makes sense, but they were built for shore bombard bombardment, and their skills, like... They, they have pushed the limits of, like, historical accuracy with so many other ships. I mean, Gref Zeppelin never got fucking finished, but she's got good stats. Just give Erebus and Terror some good stuff. Give them at least a thousand more. Give, you know what would be amazing? Give them a retrofit that gives them medium armor. That would solve a lot of problems. 
feeling that at least a thousand more HP and like a skill. Some kind of skill. I don't even know what. You know what they should have? They should have the zombie skill. I guess it'd be less cool on main fleet, but honestly, it makes it makes a lot of sense for them and it would help their HP issues. It makes sense for everything. It makes sense for their their history, you know, being named after the sunk ships. It makes sense for their names being edgy fucker goths. And it makes sense for their HP problems. when there's like two underpowered sisters and only one gets the good stuff. Yeah, they're almost great for low cost ships or fleets, but their HP is so low you can't really bring them anywhere you couldn't bring like a zero LB regular battleship. Interprets a skill trigger if um, Bismarck goes down, by the way. Her only battleship thing. Uh, giving them a ton of AA would be cool too, but I would just give them some damn health and a good skill. Huh. That's kind of neat. I really wish you could use subs in PvP, if only because that's like the only time you would consistently be able to see U556's skill. Actually being at 20% HP is really BS. Make it like 50% HP. It's already so hard to even be able to use a sub. To then give a skill that only happens... Oh, this is the wrong fleet. PvP is really the only time you would consistently be able to use that skill. I I use 556 every every possible like she's my main yes. sub. Um, I've never seen her use that skill ever. I I don't even know what it looks like. Her she's got a barrage that she fires when anyone in the fleet is at 20%. And it's extra strong with this mark is in the fleet. You have to be do you have to be, you know, in a fight with either somebody at 20% or that gets lowered into it. But yeah, I, I'm not a fan of synergy skills, and that's a pretty extreme example of a synergy skill that just <laughs> synergizes itself out of existence. But fortunately, she has the best sub range anyway, so it doesn't even matter. At least she has the best sub rage that I've seen. And she's got the Iron Blood Wolf Pack Tactics skill, so that kind of makes up for it anyway. Laura seems pretty good. I mean, you're usually fighting CLs or DDs in PvP after all. She seems pretty good for PvE content too. I was pretty impressed with her when I was grinding her for... Uh... Man, who is the British... Who do you use the Brit cruisers for?
あら台所の汚れよりも手応えありませんねYeah, Neptune, Neptune, that's it, that's it. I keep forgetting she exists because I already have an entirely different Neptune. I've never used her in a fight. Are you supposed to use that pocket battleship gun for Deutschland? At least that's what I was told. Oops, oops, auto battle. I thought that was that purple gun was like specifically for her. Does Leipzig buff all cruisers or just KMS ones? All cruisers? Not bad. What's the synergy for that gold thing then? Just higher fire rate or something? I understand the ships, like, that War Spite. Like, War Spite, like, she's got half the ship on this one and half the ship over here. I get what it's going for, but it looks weird. I'm not sure if it necessarily looks weird than having two complete ships on either side of the character, but... I kind of like how the German subs for every game works. Where there's just... Why do they freeze sometimes? Yeah. Get over here! Oh, it's because... Oh, she can't cross two. Okay. I usually go for AP just because of Pierce's Aurora, Deutschland, and Leipzig seems like it'd be a really good combo because then Aurora and Leip er, what's her butt? Deutschland would both do increased damage to the DDs. And Aurora does it to CLs too. Oops. And Aurora reduces. Doesn't she like reduce the damage they deal or something too? Reduces evasion. Oh, that's what it is. So that's really good because that's a lot of their effective HP. I guess a maxed out room would possibly be better, but. Does anyone even still use that garbage meme anymore? I would say no. It's popped up, but. I haven't seen that in months. It's never a good meme. Oh, 
のため障害を取り除くのはメイドの務めです10 hours for two blueprints. Yeah. I did find if you use five cubes, you get like ten blueprints. If the. It's the. Gold short cognition. It uses five cubes if you're willing to use five cubes. I did it on accident because I thought it would only take money. But I did get ten blueprints, which was pretty alright. Oh, from D2? Oh, that also sounds about right. I thought you were talking about the large research. Because, yeah, I think it does give you like two blueprints for several hours. But, yeah, I have not had any luck with that. Someone that said they got two, they made two from blueprints already. I don't know if that's like extreme loyalty <laughs> amount of grind or just extreme luck. Something in between. I don't think I've dropped a single one. In this session. We just checked a bit ago and I hadn't, so. Not someone who's made three from drops is four total. Good god. Yeah, I've only got the one from the shop thing. That was one of the first things I got. Thirty minute rigging research. Oh yeah, the rigging ones give good prototype or they give good uh blueprint stuff. That's a very good drop from that though. I've never got one quite that good. I usually do that when I can though. Did that one require blue materials? I did the nose with my boss fleet and attract with the I think in this case I'll probably be fine on the boss. Just because they have two instead of one. 30 minute SSR means T3 one. Oh, I didn't even know there was a T3 one. Yeah, the super rare ones, I don't usually see. Not for that. I'm cheap, so I usually just do basic research. Definitely grind a lot more than I do. Yeah, I don't. I usually do my dailies a little bit more, and that's about it. Just to not, enough to not max out of oil like I've seen some people do. I got the Skyrod on the Unicorn just for the heals. She heals the Vanguard so much more than uh, what's her face Akashi does though. I should probably start bringing her into stage 12 crap. I think I still have no blueprints. Oh, no, that's not where you check blueprints. Are the purple ones any good? Because at this rate, I'm going to get a purple one way before I get <clears throat> the other one. I don't know. What the hell is that? Never seen that thing before. Is that one of the French ones or something? Whatever. Yep, still have not gotten a single drop. I got a, I got two drops for this thing that I'm not sure if I'll ever use. Oh well, how many purples do I have? I, think I could almost make one of those at least. I don't know how good the purple one is. Yeah, the purple French DD gun. I should at least be able to make one or two of those by the end of this. Purple one's still really good. Looks low, looks like a low fire rate. Or, a good fire rate. Low is good. Mm. 
Where, who, oh, here we go. <laughs> Massachusetts hiding in the back corner. Oh, our skills ready. I really wish you got like twice as many red books as the rest because you need twice as many red books as the rest. Is there anything good here? No. Hey. Well. Oh, I see I'll do one more round. I think we're going to wrap up here. I might stream later if I'm in the mood for um, that rando Mario 64 randomizer plus the crowd control thing. That could be really fun. I've still not gotten a single Mars from this either. I got her earlier. I got her clearing hard mode, I think. Or normal mode. I've, <laughs> I've got basically nothing grinding these event maps other than the coins. Which, that's usually... I, I'm usually pretty happy to just clear the... Stuff you can buy with coins. Which I didn't even manage to do for the Nagato one. I think it was extra short because it was a repeat. Or something. But yeah, I didn't do as well as that one. And I wasn't playing as much. I play pretty inconsistently, honestly. I've been playing a lot right now. Or, you know last month or so, but... I missed the Ryuji event completely. The Spi event, I was like, 60 clears in like, 3 days? Nah. I just said fuck that, and I didn't do it. In fact, I barely even got the, um, the login bonus character one month. I just wasn't into it. But now it's like the only game left on my phone, because I deleted pretty much everything else. So... If I need to dick around during my lunch break or whatever. Do a little grind. Yeah, Streamless butt must add like random symbols to the front of it. Just I don't even know why. We're about to wrap up here. Ryan Young. We've got a Discord, which is uh, got a lot of really cool people in it. We got great mods. We keep stupidness to a minimum or to zero, whenever possible. And we just beat the porn bot invasion. We haven't had a porn bot in a while. Um, and also, Twitch subs as well as patrons and such can all join for um, our monthly board game night, which is this weekend, this Saturday. We'll be doing a Mario Party drinking game, so that'll be really fun. Mario Party 3, specifically. But I gotta get some... I'll have to get some drinks for that. We're running a little low, unless I want a shotgun pure vodka, but I think... <laughs> I think not. For one thing, I have to run the stream, so that could cause problems. In this one, everything spawns in the sub range. If only the if only stages like eleven and twelve did that for me. I would like to get eighty one, but it's like a like point five or less percent chance or something. Like, do they even list the rates for the characters? Are they supposed to have to do that? Like, they list SR rates, but it doesn't tell you which character has what rate. And it's definitely not an even chance for each one. Ahem, county class. But yeah, I don't want to waste two, you know, two cubes and a bunch of money constantly to get a bunch of county class and not ever get a U81, so... I'll wait until somebody else is added into the limited, like, the pool for limited, like Glorious was. Never built glorious. I got her from the 
60 clears, but not a single drop, not a single pull. We've a couple people with horns like that, but I don't think we have them. Is that adult Hiai? Whatever you say your name. I think we got Hiai. Little Hiai before we got regular one. Yeah, that Queen E buff just barely puts her over. Without a really good torpedo hit, I don't think she'd ever beat Portland's damage. But with Queen E, she does. Um... Are the French guns gonna be in like tech packs and like regular drops and stuff at all, or is it just in? I saw it said something was added to tech packs, but I don't know if that was any French stuff. I know they added the shells, the piercing shells. I got one of those. Saw this posted in the Discord. I like our share cool stuff channel. I think that was a really good idea. We just have it to like post like 20 pictures and stuff that like would be stuff that'd be lost and like how fast general can go. So you get a good look at some hashtag quality content. I should retweet that. Let's see if anyone yells at me for doing a cuss cuss. I do have some regular, I have some like upload, yeah, stuff I need to get to, so I'll probably get to that tonight, maybe. Maybe Mario 64 randomizer, probably tomorrow or something. Of course, Saturday we've got uh, board game nights, don't miss that. Those are always really fun. I wonder if Twitch will allow us to have an MLG Kermit MO. Or if we get like. Maybe as long as I like. Get like an original pixel art thing. Of, you know, Blurmit the Blog. It's not Kermit the Frog, it's my original character, Blurmit the Blog. He's an MLG Pro Gamer, so he's different. And then I can have a Twitch emote of Kermit. I mean, Blurmit. Different. Do not sue.
Twitch seems very, very inconsistent with its emotes rules, though. So I'm kind of leery to commission an emote I couldn't use. We could always use it in the Discord, at least, though. Yeah, I should find somebody that does good, moderately cheap um, Discord emotes. Probably pixel art style, I guess. I like how everything is made out of like little islands, like from the game Worms. Like everything is just on a tiny little island, with, like fully built structures on it. Like how, how did this happen? I got a lot of booze at this party, huh? Freaking dog creeps me out. I don't like it. I don't like this dog, Charlie. Smug aura mocks me. By the way, my my first Azure Lane stream on last week, the um, the first one for the French events. I had to try like five times to get that stupid thing to upload on YouTube. It finally worked, and I was too exhausted to make a thumbnail. I had to re-encode and redo everything and re-upload and it just work. Handbrake crashes when I try to re-encode that thing too. It's like cursed, and I don't know why. The even longer, the two hours longer stream I did a couple days after went through completely fine. It was even bigger, it was obviously longer. Did not have any trouble with it. I don't know. Weird. If anyone knows what the hell Sea Creatures sea Strategist is supposed to be, please email me at this website. Sir tap tap at geocities.website. No, but really, if you ever do need to contact me for whatever, Sir tap tap. Contact at sirtapdab.com. Or actually, you can email literally anything at sirtapdab.com. It all just goes to my Gmail anyway. Yeah, you kiddo. Another purple. Oh, well. That's what I like seeing. I like everybody with a nice, fairly even amount of damage. Alright. That's... That's plenty of grind for one day. But <laughs> no gold prints. But I guess you just gotta no life it if you really want multiple of those guns. Nice stuff, GF. Thank you. Pet, pet. Alright. Oh wait, you can't see my cursor, can you? Oh well, it's probably better that way. Anyway, fun stream. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, see you next stream. We'll definitely be streaming on Saturday for the. In fact, we got a. I got a. I made a event for that. I don't know if anybody else bothers making events on Twitch. I used to do it all the time on YouTube, just so people would know to pop in and stuff. Yeah, there's that board DM night event. I'll probably be streaming at random times because I have this week off. Um, I had to take this week off, in fact, because I forgot to take my vacation until earlier. My anniversary date's coming up. But, uh, yeah. Been having a good time relaxing stuff. Need to catch up on some recordings. But, uh, fun stream with y'all. See you later. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.